With his dying breath, King Rastakhan cursed my homeland. With no time to spare, I rushed to a plane to get home. And what I found was devastating. My entire city was infested with zombies. Now it's up to me to find the cause of this and make things right. Can I put an end to this threat and save what's left of my city? Stick around to find out. Okay, and we've arrived at my home base. And it looks a little bit overgrown. Like, what the heck even happened here? It looks really old. And where is everybody? Wait. Where's my pilot going? Um, okay. Well, I, I honestly don't know what he's doing. He looks kind of scared, but, uh, okay. See you later, I guess. This place has, like, nobody here anymore. It looks like nobody's lived here for years. It looks completely overgrown. This is not a good sign. The pilot did leave me some supplies that might come in handy later. Okay. I'm a little concerned that I can't find any... Military? Wait, what the heck's the military doing here? Sir... Who are you and why are you showing up now? I'm painful and I was brought here from the Amazon rainforest to help defend my home base. What what the heck's been going on? Well, painful, take this baseball bat fast and turn around. There's a horde incoming. Wait, horde incoming? Survivalist baseball bat? What what do you mean? I have a bad feeling about this, but what the heck? Oh my god, what the heck is that thing? Okay, military people, are you going to help us out here? Oh, dude, that actually does a lot. Okay, yep, I got to get back to my military guards because that thing does insane damage. Oh, okay, the military is actually helping out a lot. Okay, wait, are the zombies crawling at me? What the? Since when do zombies crawl in Minecraft? Okay, this is, this is very cursed. Wait, he's still alive. He's still alive. Okay, there we go. Um, Is there anything else out here? Oh, yeah. Th there's quite a lot of them. Okay, I do not like this big guy. I feel like the best strategy here would be to bring them into the military where the military can use their... What is that? An M4? Yeah. Start shooting him, please. This is, this is not acceptable. Okay, well, the military seems pretty strong. I guess it's a good thing I have them on my side. Okay, and there's just a couple more to take. Okay, I'm almost dead. But one more hit. There we go. Okay, I think we've eliminated the zombies in this area. Let's go. Thanks for helping hold off the horde. They might have ripped us to shreds. Sadly, we don't have enough supplies to help you out, so we're going to have to go off on your own. Uh, what do you mean? And what is even happening here? Oh, just your typical zombie apocalypse, reactor blown, end of the world kind of thing. You won't survive long at night, so you better find shelter fast. Well, I guess I need to go find some shelter. I honestly don't know where's a safe spot to go, though, to be honest. I honestly don't want to go too far away from the military guard, so I think I'm going to find shelter maybe on the second floor of this terminal here. This seems like it could be a good spot. Okay, I'm in some sort of giant cafeteria by the looks of it, and it seems like there's not too many zombies that are living here right now, so I, I think these are the only two, so this seems like it could be a good place to set camp for the night. This is called the Japanese Fish and hopefully there's a little bit of food because I only got raw beef. Let's take a look in here. Oh yeah, we got some tropical fish, some soup. Okay, this is actually good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe spend the rest of the night just sitting in this corner. I mean, there's no bed, so this is the best I can do for now. Day two honestly hasn't been treating me any better either. I've been wandering around this cafe trying to find any sort of food or any people to be honest. And of course, it's infested with more zombies. Okay, let's go ahead and take these things down. I'm just very happy I have this wooden bat thing. That, that at least is gonna help me take these things down. Okay, wait, how does he fit under this thing, dude? Holy, these things have a lot of health. Like, I've hit this thing like 10 times. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day scavenging and just trying to find some food. There's some cake here. I'll go ahead and eat that. And yeah, let's keep looking around, see what we can find. Ooh, there is a chest over here. This is like the first chest I found other than the one on my helic. Wait, is that a... Okay, this is very weird. There's a zombie in the wall. Okay, you know what, buddy? I'm just gonna leave you in there. You, you have a good time there. Okay, wait. What is in here? Wooden scrap. Bandages. Okay, that's gonna be able to heal us. Um, And some steak. Okay, we actually needed some cooked steak. But my baseball bat is pretty damaged. I wonder if I can repair it. Wait, I can actually repair it with the wooden scrap. Okay, look at this. With one more wooden scrap, it's now fully repaired. Okay, hopefully we find some more of this wooden scrap in the future. Because there is a lot of zombies out there. So we need to keep this thing repaired. I'm going to need some gear. So I think heading into the plane, I might be able to find some luggage or something from some old passengers. Wait, are these zombies potentially the passengers of this plane? Okay, this is kind of strange. I'm sorry, guys, but, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do to survive. I could possibly be killing the pilot of this plane from all I know, but you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I've gotta do what I gotta do to survive, and hopefully there's some luggage. Okay, dude, there's a lot of them that were on this plane. Okay, come on. A few more hits. You should be able to take these down. Okay, well, I think 
I've eliminated the passengers that were on this plane. And, ooh, air maxes. Okay, I'm gonna have the hops. Maybe we'll do a slam dunk or something. Okay, let's get that. We have some bandages, uh, which is good. And maybe there's a little bit more luggage on this plane somewhere. And, oh, wait, how did this? Okay, this was a pretty big passenger. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how you fit on this plane, sir. But you know what? I've gotta take you down. Okay, wow, he actually does. Okay, we gotta use these bandages. Oh, wow, they actually heal really good. Good to know. Okay, let's go ahead and take this big man down. A few more hits. Okay, I think we've eliminated all the passengers that were on this plane, but I think, yeah, I saw a chest here. Wait, okay, this is really, really good. Since I ended up using my other two bandages in that fight, I needed a little bit more, and there was a bunch of food in here. I think what I'm gonna do now, let's use the wooden scrap to repair our weapon, and let's keep looking around. All right, well, I think that's everything on this plane, and oh, wait, that looks like some sort of control tower. I feel like somebody could possibly be up in the control tower. I say we go take a look. Okay, so this is a pretty big tower, so hopefully there's not a a bunch of zombies waiting up here for me but we'll see and we've made it up wait sir uh, hello i've been alone in the top of the control tower for uh 18 weeks it must be now or maybe 18 years i don't know anymore i've seen things um are you okay man y you seem a little off wait is that a gun i've been alone on the top of this control tower for 18 weeks it must be now or maybe Okay, that's enough of that. He can go to sleep for now. And I just took his pistol from him. Wait, I, since when can you have a gun in Minecraft? Okay. And what does he have in his chest here? Oh, pistol ammo. Okay, that's gonna come into handy. We got cookies. Okay, I like cookies. And some emergency flares. These might come in handy if anyone comes looking for me. All right, well, I say we put this pistol to the test. Let's go ahead and reload this. Okay, it's reloading. And let's see. Okay, little zombie. How's, how's this feel, my man? Wait. This pistol kind of sucks. I, I'm not going to lie. Is it even hitting him? Okay, you know what? Th this pistol is... Wait, did he just move? Okay, he might be waking up a little bit. This is kind of awkward, but yeah, this pistol sucks. I think I'm going to stick to my uh, baseball bat. Okay, well, this is a massive terminal. And okay, well, while I'm traveling, I think I should maybe try and loot some of these cars and maybe find some leftover supply. Okay, this one has a barrel and a bed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this bed. And okay, a little bit of food. A good thing it's not rotten yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that and maybe scavenge some more loot. So I then spent the next couple days traveling up the highway, then trying to scavenge all the loot from all of these different cars. I ended up getting a good amount of loot. I don't know if I'm going crazy because there's zombies everywhere, but I swear I heard a dog barking back here. And there's a bunch of bones on the ground. Okay, this is very weird. Okay, is, is there a dog back here or something? Oh, Aang? Hi, Aang. Okay, well, you know what? It is a zombie apocalypse and I could use the extra protection. So Aang, I'm gonna leave you in there for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and gather these bones and tame you. And we finally have our friend Aang. And I don't know why it says partner. I guess we're kind of partners now, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here, Aang, okay? We need to figure out what else is in this terminal. All right, Aang, let's get the heck out of here, bro. Okay, uh, what the heck is that? That is not the normal zombie, Aang. Okay, I think we gotta go this way. Let's get out of here. Okay, Aang, he's still chasing us. Come on, buddy, he's gonna get you. Okay, let's go. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go into here. I don't think he's gonna be able to get me through here. Uh, a chest, what, what's in here? Okay, a shotgun, double barrel shotgun. Okay, let, let's see what we can do with this thing. Let's reload this. Is he out? Oh, I think we hit him. Oh, oh wait, I think we heard him because he seems to be running away now. Okay, let's go ahead and reload again. And can we... And... Okay, yep. I think we scared him off. That is good. Ang, do not chase him, Ang. Do not chase him. Get back here, buddy. That thing is way too big for us right now. Okay, Ang and I have been traveling for a little bit. We found this very nice residential area that is a little bit overgrown, but Ang and I right now don't even have a home. So since we're in a very nice residential area, I think, you know what? Let's take this home. And maybe I want to rebuild some of the interior and stuff, but Oh my god. Okay, Aang. Aang, you might want to help me out in here, buddy. You might want to help me out in here. Take these things down. Oh, wait. Is that a chicken? Wh what are you doing in here? Do I have any more ammo in my guns? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know why this guy even had a pistol, dude. This pistol is actually terrible. And I, dude, why, Aang? Why are you not helping me, bro? Okay, now he's helping. Okay, thank you, Aang. I, I appreciate it, bro. Uh, okay. 
Yes, Aang actually took that thing down. Okay, we need to give our dog some food, though, because his tail is not very high. So here, take take some of my steak. Okay, buddy, take some of my steak. Okay, so now what I want to do is, yeah, this place is a little bit grieved. So let's go ahead and rebuild some of this and just try to make this home a little bit better. So the first thing I did was I took down a bunch of the interior walls, replaced all of the fences on the outside with giant iron barred fences. And after destroying all the walls on the interior and opening it up, it looked a lot better. I also added a nice trench to keep the zombies from getting to my base. All right, well, now that I'm finished up my base, I did see that there was a cargo ship, a very big one nearby, so I wanted to go loot that because there's probably some good loot up there. This cargo ship is a lot bigger than I anticipated, and of course, there's zombies here. Wait, what the heck is that zombie? Wait, oh my God, that almost killed me. Okay, well, the good thing is it killed the other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and use a bandage so I don't die, but uh, hopefully there's no more of those things because my gosh, that damage is crazy. Okay, well, I did notice that there was a bunch of chests in here. Wait, why? Why is there so many wooden swords here? Who would need this many wooden swords? All I know is I do not need any of those because those are terrible. Let's go loot some more crates. And in here, I did find some more chests, but these were all filled with saplings, which I guess is a good problem to have. At least I'm never going to run out of wood. So let me just grab a little bit of these. Okay, well, that's a lot of saplings. And okay, what is in this? Uh, dude, what am I going to do with all of these oak fences? But I guess it's worth loading the rest of them in case I... Yep. That proves it. I was going to say, I guess it's worth looting the rest of them, but look at this. I just got a bunch of med kits, bandages, and even iron scrap. I should be able to make some iron stuff out of that. And okay, shotgun shells and a lot of food. I like that a lot. All right, well, I think I'm going to loot the rest of this cargo ship maybe another time because I don't want to be here too much longer because I think the sun is going to be setting shortly. So let's head back home. Well, I figured I'd spend the next few days trying to find some more loot. And I think we're going to start off by entering into this theater. There is a chest here with a bunch of tickets, but I don't I don't think I'm going to need any tickets because it seems everybody in this world is dead. But okay, this is the... Th okay, yep. I guess these guys were watching a movie when... Okay, that damage is absurd. Okay, use my shotgun. Okay, does this do good damage? I honestly don't know. Reload the shotgun. I think we don't have too much ammo, but we should be able to take them. Dude. Okay, that actually killed him. Oh, God, I'm, I'm literally about to die. Okay, I think this might be our last little bit of ammo. We should be able to take this guy down. And okay, there we go. Now that they are gone, let's go ahead and loot these. Okay, a little bit more shotgun shells, some iron scrap, and some med kits. That's what I need to make sure I'm using is med kits. Now, out of curiosity, since I'm low, let's use one of these. And yeah, that actually does a lot of health. So we got to make sure we find some more med kits. All right, well, now that I'm done looting the movie theater, I think I'm going to check out this construction site. And of course, there's more. Okay, back up. We need to make... Oh my God, I'm on one heart. Bandage. Ooh. Oh my god, I went down to half a heart. Okay, that was way, way too close. I thought for sure... Okay, buddy, can you just please die? Stop crawling at me. Oh, okay, this is this is a little bit cursed. I'm not gonna lie, but okay. I went down to one or I think half a heart there. So we definitely should watch out for those things. But let's go ahead and see if there's anything in here. There's some barrels with some wood. I guess I'll go ahead and take that. Oh, wow, there is a chest here. Okay, just what we need a little bit more bandages and iron. Okay. And before it gets too late, I did want to loot this one last place I found. It's some sort of church, I believe. And it's kind of cursed because there's dead skeleton heads on the ground. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that, I suppose, but the good thing is there's no zombies in here. And okay, med kits, some more of those, an enchantment table, and what are diamond scrap? Okay, we might be able to make some diamond stuff with that. Okay, that's really good. And in these, we got some random stuff, corrupted holy text. Okay, nobody knows what that is, so we're not going to grab it. Um, okay, holy wine, can you handle the power of the almighty? Uh, probably not. I probably shouldn't drink that. And okay, so I think we got everything important in here. I think I'm going to head back Back to base, but along the way, I'm gonna try and gather some more materials. Well, I really like what I did with the place, kind of just expanding everything. Oh no, no, he's back outside. Okay, what does this guy want from? Oh no, what the heck is that thing? I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, please don't blow up my base. Oh wait, no, I'm not reloaded. I am not reloaded. Okay, this is not good. Okay, let's take a couple shots at these things. Please don't blow up. Please don't. Oh no, he's blowing up my defenses now. Oh, dude, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, we gotta watch out for that. Um, okay, you know what? Get over here, Aang. We might have to get that. Oh my god. Wait, he's spawning in so many of them. Aang, I don't think it's a good idea if we stay here. We gotta get going here. Let's break out the back. Oh my god, I don't even have my pickaxe on me, Aang. We gotta break through this. Hopefully, they don't come behind me. 
Okay, Aang, quick, go. I'm gonna quickly do this so we can get across, and we gotta get out of here, Aang. Please, Aang, please. Come across. You can do it. Uh, no, Aang just fell into the trap. Okay, Aang, you know what, buddy? I am sorry. I've gotta leave you, buddy. I have gotta leave you because I am not trying to die here. Well, I think I made the best decision for me. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, Aang just teleported. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Okay, it seems like he's chasing me. We gotta get out of here. Okay, well, me and Aang have been running from this boss for what seems to be about four days now, but I found this big Ferris wheel. It almost seems like this is some sort of carnival. So I think I'm gonna hide in here with Aang. Okay, what the heck are these? I was running up to the Ferris wheel. Wait, are those zombie dogs? Oh my god, they look cursed. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to pull up the good old double barrel and try to take these things down. Okay, just a few hits here. Uh, what is wrong with these things, bro? What even happened to these? Hopefully they don't bite Aang because I really don't want to have to fight Aang. That would just be really, really sad, honestly. Okay, a few more hits. Come on. There we go. Okay, we've taken those things down. Hopefully there's not any more zombie mutants because it seems like these zombies might be mutating. And by the looks of it, there's a chest over here. Okay, let's go see what's in here. And okay, some zombie heads and wooden scrap. Okay, well, the good thing is I did need some wooden scrap because my sword was getting a little bit low. Okay, well, Aang and I decided to head back to my base and it looks like the destruction is over. Although my base is definitely not as intact as it was before, but I did need to come back here and grab some of my diamond scraps that I got from before. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and make some armor. Let's combine this into here. We got five diamonds from that. That's not too bad. And let's go ahead and get all of our iron. Okay, well, just finished up my armor and wait... What the heck was that noise? Um, where did that come from? It sounds like it came from the city, so I guess we should head back that way. And I think the screaming was coming from over in this direction. Wait, there's a bunch of military people and looks like some children. Okay, yep, I can see what they're screaming about. Let's go ahead and equip. Okay, what the heck are these things shooting slime balls at me or something? Like, what is that? Wait, I'm almost dead. I'm actually nearly dead. I need to run. I actually need to run. I can see why they were struggling here. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well, hopefully we can take these things down. Let's go. Dodge that one. Get a bit closer. Okay, I don't know what type of zombies those are, and why is this zombie riding on a chicken? I don't understand. I don't understand this game, but it is what it is. Okay, take this thing down. Come on. Let's use Let's use some of my bandages here. Heal up a little bit, and take this thing down. Hopefully, this is going to be the last of them. Okay, he's dead. Is there any more? Okay, yeah, it does look like there's another one up here. Okay, hopefully there's not too many of them. Okay, and by the looks of it, we eliminated all the zombies. Okay. Fancy seeing you again. Again, son, you just gosh darn saved our lives and the lives of all these kids. We've been stuck here because some nasty big boy has been terrorizing us for days now. Think you can help us set up a place for these kiddos to sleep? Oh, also, take this bad boy. Um, okay, an M4 assault rifle. Okay, that might be a little bit better than my shotgun. Thank you very much. All right, well, now that the kids are safe in bed, I'm gonna go ahead and block off the entrances and these military personnel are gonna guard the outside for now. I'm gonna head into bed for the night and we'll pick this back up in the morning. Come out, little one. Your time has come. Wait, what the heck was that noise? Oh. Wait, oh no, the big zombie boss is out here. Wait, where'd the military go that were outside? He must have taken them out. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to take this guy down. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I'm gonna use my M4. Oh my gosh, okay, that actually does pretty good damage. I'm not gonna... Oh, okay, you gotta use my shield here. Definitely gotta use my shield. That does a lot of freaking damage. Oh my god, wait, I'm almost dead. Okay, we gotta start using these bandages, and let's use the M4 a little bit here. It does seem to do mediocre damage to him. We just gotta make sure we're taking advantage of... Oh, okay, okay, where did these things just come from? Where did these things... Just... Oh wait, I'm just about dead. Med kit. Oh my god, my med kit got me to full HP. Okay, keep using my ammo. Oh wait, do I not have any more ammo? Okay, run and reload. Run and reload. I don't know how many of these zombies there are, but dude, I am out of ammo already, bro, and the fight just started. Okay, let's use my shotgun. I think the shotgun will help. I really wish my dog was gonna help me in these situations, but it doesn't look like my dog is gonna do anything, bro. Okay, let's keep trying to do some more damage, but dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live this. I really don't. Okay, we don't have too much more heals left. Let's see what we can do here. Block that whip attack and get some hits in. Oh my god, almost dead. Med kit that, and oh, dude, he keeps pulling me in, dude. He keeps pulling me in. I only have three med kits left, and these zombies do a lot of damage, bro. What the heck? Okay, let's eat some food to regenerate our health, but I just noticed my weapon is almost broken as well. Let's use some of our wooden scrap to repair that. There we go, back to full durability, and okay, he pulled me in. We gotta use our shield here. Oh my god. Okay, run. Run. No, dude, he keeps sucking me back in. This is a really tough fight. Okay, let's do a bunch of damage here. Use my med kit so I don't die. And let's eat some more steak to regenerate more food. We've almost got the zombie brew. I think we can do this. Keep swinging, bro. Keep swinging. Just a few more hits. We should be able to take this thing down. Oh, med kit. Med kit, please. Okay, we're back to full health. We, we gotta win now. We gotta win now. 
Just a few more. Yes. Okay. We, we destroyed the zombie brute. Now we just got to kill these other guys. Use the last bit of bandages we have. And come on. Just a few more hits here. And okay. I only have one bandage left. Yes. Okay. We actually were able to take him down. And it looks like he dropped a zombie hook. Which actually does a lot more damage than my weapon. And apparently it has a sky smash ability. What's this do? Okay, well, I guess I got a cool custom ability that I have. Okay, well, I think there was some military personnel that were sleeping in here, but sir, this town is a little bit rough. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna find a safer spot for us to hang out and I'll report back to you later. Sounds good, soldier. We'll be waiting here for you. All right, see you soon. I did end up finding this giant hospital and typically there's a lot of medication. Okay, and of course he's riding a, a chicken. How cursed is this game? Yeah, but of course there is some healing and, and, and medical supplies at hospitals typically so hopefully i can find some in here but first i think we should take these things down and this zombie hook actually does quite a lot of damage we're taking these things down pretty easily now and just a few more hits come on okay let's use this bandage because I, I honestly don't want to be dying here let's use this bandage okay there we go and what does this do wait Med kits. Okay, how many, how many do we got in there? Okay, it seems like there's four med kits. What's in this one? Uh, we've got some bandages, and then what? What, do we, what about in here? So, what is this? A syringe. Okay, so this is a new type of healing that we have yet to have. I have a feeling that this syringe might be the best source of healing yet, because it goes directly into the bloodstream. Okay, and we got some bandages here. Okay, well I'm pretty happy that I found myself a hospital because I honestly was pretty low on healing. Okay, and after a two day of travel, I was able to gather some building supplies but I also found this giant bridge. I actually really like this bridge a lot because as you can see, the middle of the bridge is completely destroyed. So I think I'm actually going to build my base here. That means zombies will only be able to come from two directions, which is actually pretty good in my opinion. So without further ado, I say we begin our build. So the first thing I did was remove a bit of the stuff from on top of the ship and created a solid base using stone brick. I then added a little walkway that connected to the other side and a nice little ladder that allows me to go up and down the boat. Well, I think I did a pretty good job building this place. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I also have a zombie trap that goes down there. So if any zombies try to come for me, well, hopefully they follow my little trap. Well, what I'm going to do now is head back over to my base on the bridge, and I do want to try going to the other side of the bridge because we haven't crossed over to those lands yet. All right, well, we made it, and I haven't actually made it all the way over there. So, okay, we got to make this jump. There we go. Okay, what is even wrong with this zone? It looks like really weird. And what do these signs say? Wait, what does it say? Turn back radiated zone. Hazmat required. Oh, wait, this must help. Someone help. Dad. Oh, okay. Well, um, I, I guess we're not going over there. We, we're going to get out of here before we start dying. And it looks like we might need to get a hazmat suit. Well, I have been traveling to some new locations because I need to find some materials for a hazmat suit. So I think I found myself a mall here and hopefully I can find what the heck is that thing? Okay. This is like some sort of zombified. Oh my. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. It actually does a lot of damage. Let's use some bandages and let's use some of our salmon here. Wait, wait, I killed it. Okay. Well, that was actually pretty dude. I underestimated the strength of my zombie hook. That is what I'm talking about. All right. Well, hopefully there's not any more of those zombie gorilla things because they actually did a pretty good. Oh, my. okay. Let's use the double barrel, double barrel. Okay. Wait, we are not reloaded quick. Reload this and let's take a couple shots at these things. Okay. We were able to take one down. Wait, how many of these things are there? Okay. Come on. A few more hits. We should be able to take this thing down. And one more. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and use some bandages because they actually hurt quite a bit. And oh, looks like there's a chest down here. Okay. Don't mind if I do. And okay. A lot of shotgun shells. What is this? AR ammo. Ooh, we could actually use our M4 again, which is good. And it looks like there's a hazmat helmet in here with a little bit more heals. Okay. Well, it looks like we got one out of four pieces. I think we just got to do a little bit more exploring to find the rest of the armor. Well, I have searched this entire residential area and I haven't found anything else, but there was one thing that I found was this giant staircase which leads down into some sort of subway station, I'm assuming. It said Millway Station above, so let's go ahead and go down here and okay, yep, there's actually quite a lot of crocodiles down here. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, me and my little pup are taking these things. Okay, better die. Med kit that. And okay, just a few more hits. We should be able to take these things down. And come on. There we go. Okay, me and Aang have really grown to be pretty good battle partners, let me tell you. And I think I should probably feed him a little bit because he he has not been fed in a little while. So here, take some of this rotten flesh. There you go, buddy. All right, and it does look like there is a chest down here. So let's see what's in here. Just some cookies. Is there anything else? Like, I swear I've looted so much. And 
Oh, finally, we hit the jackpot. Okay, some more shotgun shells, AR ammo, and a lot of syringes. This is really gonna come in handy later on, I think. And it does look like we found our second piece of the hazmat suit. All right, and I did find these two big buildings here, so I figured I'd head into these, but unfortunately, I don't see Aang with me anymore. I think he may have died. I, I know it's kind of sad, but I think he may have died, or he's just... Uh-oh. Speaking of dying, that is something I don't want to do, so let's go ahead and reload my double barrel, get a couple shots off on these guys. Let's get some hits with my zombie hook. Come on. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. I almost got one shot. Dude, I, I did not see that TNT one. I am not going to lie. That thing nearly one shot me. Ooh, okay. Well, the good thing is he killed all the zombies, but nearly took me out in the meantime. And it does look like there is a chest here. Let's go ahead and loot this. Oh, finally some food. I was getting a little worried because I didn't have much food left. There is a bunch of diamond scrap and the third piece to the puzzle. Now we just need to find the last piece of armor for my hazmat suit. And after a little bit more running, I ended up on a train track. Yeah, don't ask me how I got here, but I do see a lot of zombies that are apparently burning in the sun. I'm not sure what they're doing out here, but it seems like they may be defending that chest up there, which gives me some good hope. And of course they start crawling, dude. These things are so cursed. Okay, well, the rest seem to be stuck down there, so I think I'm gonna leave them, but I do need to build up to this chest, so let's go ahead and see what's in here. Well, here we go, and it looks like we got some pistol ammo, a Glock, okay. Um, we got some syringes, and it seems like the last piece of the puzzle. We now are in our full hazmat suit. I guess we're gonna be able to cross the bridge now. All right, well, now that I've got my full hazmat suit, I think I'm gonna make a long journey back home. All right, well, I've been traveling home, but I found this really cool looking building, and I'm very tempted to go check it out before I head back home. So yeah, I suppose we'll go check it out and see what's in here. What even is this place? These kind of look like little huts, and there's even armor stands in here. This this definitely looks like someone was trying to survive in here, and it looks like they may have gotten overrun by something. Okay, and it looks like there's another book on the ground. The book says it's Survivor, and it says something is coming. It's large, dark, and ominous. If you don't find another note from me, it got us all. Please look for us. We will fight to the end. Okay, well, I guess I got to keep my eyes out. Apparently, there's something else coming for us. All right, well, we made it back home, and, well, I'm in my hazmat suit, so hopefully this works, honestly, and rest in peace to that dude that died here earlier. Yeah, that was really weird, but anyways, it looks like my suit is working now. I just haven't seen anything yet, so I wonder if anything is around here. What? What is that noise? Wait, it sounds like somebody's walking near me. Okay, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go further in the city and see where the heck that noise is coming from, because... What the heck was that, bro? Okay, this place is cursed or something. Okay, let's get to the middle of the city and see if we can see anything. All right, well, I've been running around in here for a minute, and I found a, a little bird. I, I truly don't know how it survived out here in the radiation, but you know what? I'm gonna leave that little man alone. Hopefully, he uh, finds a wife somewhere around here, and maybe he could repopulate this area someday. Anyways, uh, by the looks of it here, this looks like it's some sort of military tank, and hopefully, I can find some stuff inside of it, but it doesn't look like there's any military officers in here, but... Uh, let's see. Okay, wait. Faster blaster. Um, That seems like it could be better than my double barrel. So let's put my double barrel in there for now. And let's go ahead. I'll leave a couple shells in case somebody comes back and needs a gun. But I'm going to go ahead and take this faster blaster. And real quick, check out my bad line cosmetics. You can use code PAINFUL to save yourself 10% off. Linked in the description below. Well, I'm glad I got this hazmat suit because there does not really seem to be much life out here at all. And wait, is this a huge crater? Um, what the heck is that thing? That looks like it could be some sort of issue, and I definitely think I need to take that thing down. Let's go see what we can do. Okay, as I got closer, this thing is called a zombified elephant. Oh my god, what is that damage? Okay, wait, where's my shield? Wait, why is my shield not on? Okay, that would have that would have been really bad if it just killed me there. Okay, let's go ahead and use this. Oh my god, wait, how much health does this thing... What the heck is that damage, bro? Okay, let's use this. Does this pistol do any good damage? Uh, okay, dude, this pistol is... <gasps> okay, gotta run, gotta run. Th this pistol literally tickled him by the looks of it. Okay, let's keep going. Block my shield. Wait, that didn't even block. How the heck is that not... Okay, use my syringe. Wait, 
Do I have speed effects? Oh my god, he's really fast. Okay, okay, I'm just about dead. Just about dead. Keep running, keep running. Okay, this gives me strength too and speed too. Okay, syringes are really, really good. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Got a syringe to heal back up. Let's run away a little bit. Wait, what the heck are those? He spawned zombie dogs as well. That is not good. I think our strength too with this zombie hook does do a lot of damage though. Let's go ahead and take these dogs down so they don't add up and start killing me. Okay, got that guy down and block my shield. Wait, how the heck did that just hit me? Okay, let's go for a lot of damage. Wait, where'd he go? How the heck did you just get over there, my man? How the heck did you just get over there? Eat food to regenerate. Block that. Okay, dude, this guy's hacking. I'm convinced he's hacking. My shield is not working. Okay, come on. A few more hits. We should be... Oh my god, I'm on two hearts. Okay. I think we could do this. A few more hits. Go, go. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. I have no more syringes. I actually have... Where, where did I go? I fell in a hole. I have two hearts and I'm in a hole. Hopefully, can I get up? Oh my God, I'm up. Wait, he's way over there. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I can live, but I hope I can. Let's go in. Come on. Oh my gosh. We actually just about died there. This was prop. Okay, wait, the fight is not over. I am nearly dead. Okay, these things do a lot of damage. Do I have any more ammo? Can I reload this, please? Oh my gosh, I have no more ammo, bro. I have no more ammo. Let's go. Dude, what the heck is the damage on these things? Oh, oh my God. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna run. I'd say that was a pretty successful fight though, if you ask me. Okay, well, I guess they actually just randomly died because they're not here anymore. But what I'm actually gonna do now is try to explore more of this radiation zone and maybe try to find myself some more heals because I actually have no more heals. All right, well, I definitely think I should search some of these buildings. This one has some bookshelves here. So I'm actually gonna gather some of these just in case I wanna do some enchanting later. All right, and what else do we have in here? Uh, okay, a couple chess here wait what is this an ak-47 okay yep you best bet i'm gonna be taking that that thing looks pretty op and what is this okay it doesn't really look like anything too useful in this and is there anything else in here um i, I mean cobwebs could come in handy I'll, I'll go ahead and take those okay let's keep looking okay well that was a lot of stairs i just climbed to get up here but is anything else up here let me take a look um i'm not really oh wait there is a chest here i was actually about to give up on this build but oh my gosh wait we actually just hit the jackpot we got a couple of med kit some bandages a bunch of food and some syringes dude these syringes are op well let me tell you it feels good to have a lot of food and my gosh it feels like it's been quite a while since i've been on the beach i really do miss the beaches but i guess oh wait is that a yacht i should definitely probably check that out what the heck okay you know what this is oh maybe i don't miss the beaches maybe i don't miss the beaches as much as i thought because dude why oh my god syringe we had to syringe there i can't believe the damage that these do okay okay Spam bandages, spam bandages. Come on. Oh, okay, you know what? AK-47 time. I think this might be the only way we're gonna be able to take these things down because my gosh, do these things ever do a lot of damage? All right, well, n what? Wait, what? What is this? Wait, is that a piranha? Whoa, what the heck? How is this piranha on the beach? Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna ask. This is a painful video. It's bound to be cursed. All right, well, you know what? I think I'm gonna go check out this yacht. All right, and well, it looks like I made it on the yacht. Now I just gotta watch out for any zombies and maybe there's potentially some survivors on here, honestly. Because if I was in a zombie apocalypse, I'd probably wanna hide somewhere in the ocean. It would be a pretty good spot if you ask me. Well, I'm not really seeing anybody up here. So maybe there isn't anybody actually here wait who the heck is this guy uh hello hey man how long have you actually been here for it's been a few weeks i think all my friends have been taken away by this flying zombie god flying zombie god is that the same thing everyone i know has been getting taken by i have no clue but he's wreaking havoc and we have no clue where he lives uh well where have you tried looking for him my group checked out the safer side of the river early on, uh, before we all got taken. Okay, well, you've checked the safer side of the river. How about this side of the river? Have you checked around here? Not much. Just this boardwalk area before. Wait, what the heck? What? No, 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 no. Wait, okay, well, I guess this is the thing that he was talking about before, and it looks like it's taking him away. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna come get you. Okay, I really hope we can swim faster than this guy can fly. It looks like since he is so big, he is gonna be pretty slow, so hopefully we can catch him. It does seem like we got a little bit closer, but the issue is this terrain is really hard to parkour around, and it looks like he's getting away. I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to keep up. It's just too fast for me. He's going over top of buildings. Yet, yeah, Well, hopefully we can find him another time because that was not good well i've been looking everywhere for that thing but i couldn't find it but what i did find is what looks to be a massive mansion way up on this hill so i figured i'd check it out well this place is absolutely ma wait what is that noise it sounds like is that a radio wait 
Oh, it's coming from here! Stadium, we are at the stadium. Send help fast. You will need a plane. There is an impenetrable wall of zombies. Okay, well, as you can hear by the radio, apparently they're at some sort of stadium. And I guess I'm going to need a plane. I don't really know how I'm going to build one of those, but I suppose I'm going to have to figure that out. Well, honestly, I think if I am going to go to that stadium and there's lots of zombies, I'm going to need a lot more firepower and potentially some better weapons. So I think I need to travel around and try and find a military compound somewhere. Well, I've been traveling through this dense forest for what seems to be a few days, but it does look like this is some sort of military compound. I have a bad feeling about this because all the military helicopters are here, but I don't see any military personnel, which leads me to believe that there could be some infestation here. Um, what the heck is that? It looks like these are potentially old military personnel, and I am sorry, guys. Dude, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to take these down. Okay, keep, 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 keep going, AK. Keep going, AK. I honestly am about to run out of ammo with this AK. Let Let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah. I can hit a lot of them at once. Oh, yeah. We are hitting a lot of them at once. We should be able to take these things down. Come on. Okay, wow. Their damage is actually adding up over time. Their damage is adding up. Let's use a couple bandies here. Maybe whip out the faster blaster. Goodbye, sir. Have a nice day. Nice nice hairline, by the way, my man. Um, okay, let's take down a few more of these. And okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got a med kit here. Just a few more hits and we should be okay. There we go. Okay, I think we got everything. Oh, yeah. There's just a couple more. And there we go. Okay, well, that was a ridiculous amount of zombies in one place. Oh, got a couple chests here as well. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, syringes. Okay, I actually needed a few more of those. And we got some sniper ammo and it... Oh my gosh, wait. Did we just get an op? We legitimately have a sniper. Okay, this is pretty OP. And wait, did I see an... Yeah, I saw another chest back here. Wait, what do we have in this one? Um, A bunch of AR ammo. Okay, well, that comes in handy. And some med kits and other healing. Okay. Okay, let's go. Those were two pretty blessed chests. I'm not gonna lie. Well, honestly, this op is a pretty small gun, I'd say. Uh, imagine I can find something bigger. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. I highly doubt I'm gonna find anything bigger, but you never know what you're gonna find around here, so I might as well keep looking. Well, I've looked around this place and I don't really see any other loot, so I think what I'm gonna do, if I remember correctly, that yacht that I was on earlier, I saw another ship nearby. I definitely wanted to go check that out as well. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This thing looks a lot bigger in person. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's go see what we can find up here. Well, this definitely looks like it could be some other sort of military base. And of course, let's go ahead and give this op a try. Okay, wait, let's zoom in. Oh, we get, we headshot them. That's got to do some good damage. Okay, wait, how much health do these things have? How did an op shot to the head not take this thing down? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pop up the AK-47. Here we go. Let's get a couple shots like that. And one more hit should do the trick. And... There we go. Okay, wait, what is in this glass? Wait, what does this even say? Emergency use only. Um, okay, well, I mean, it is a zombie apocalypse. What is even in... Oh my gosh. Wait, you are telling me I am holding an RPG. All right, we've definitely got to test this out. Is there any other zombies on this ship? Well, I'm not really seeing any more zombies down there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give this RPG a shot, shall we? Let's see... Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait, that actually does a pretty big explosion and it just one shot all of those zombies. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've got like the strongest sword. I've got like the best weapons, but the only thing that's really lacking is this shield. I definitely would like to try and upgrade my shield if I'm gonna take down that boss. So let's do some traveling and see if we can get some supplies for that. Okay, what the heck is going on up there? I see a building, but a ton of lava. Is this some sort of like a volcano or something? It, it must be, right? Right, let's let's go check it out. All right, well, I made it up here. I just gotta make sure I don't fall in all these little lava pools, but there is some chests up here. Okay, some glowstone dust. I'll go ahead and take that. We're gonna be able to use that to brew some potions, maybe one day. Okay, where did you guys just come from? Let's go ahead and reload the uh, the good old AK. Get a couple shots on these things here. And okay, yep, these things, of course, have a lot of health. So they, oh my God, I'm about to die. Oh my God, I'm on one heart. Okay, let's use our med kit here. Holy crap, that was really close. Little bit too close for comfort, honestly. I am not gonna lie. This is is why we need a better shield to be honest okay let's use our med kit block a couple of these hits oh one heart okay 
We should be able oh my gosh, okay. That was a little bit too close for comfort. I only got 11 bandages and five syringes left, dude. That is really unfortunate. But it does look like there is some chest TNT. Okay, well, don't mind if I take some of that. And improvised car door. Wait a second. Can this be used as a shield? Wait, we are using an improvised car door as a shield. Now that is what I'm talking about. This looks a little bit better. Now it's time to see where all this lava is coming from because there was quite a bit and yeah, I figured this was gonna be a volcano. And by the looks of it, there is some chests in the middle, although it doesn't look like all the chests are gonna be easy to get. Okay, well, let's go down here and maybe do a little bit of parkour. Okay, we should be able to do this. Okay, come on. Okay, we're, we're almost at this chest. A few more jumps. Go. Oh my gosh. One more. There we go. Okay, wait, what's in here? Oh my gosh, a sharpness four book. That is really, really good. And arrows of fire resistance. I really don't think I'm going to need any of those, but it does look like there's another chest over there. Let's go. And okay, we made it. Wait, what's... Oh my gosh. Wait, I think out of every 100 day video, I have yet to get a totem of undying. That is really handy. But the issue is I have a shield, so I'm gonna have to use this thing wisely. And by the looks of it, there is an enchantment table in here as well. Let's go ahead and grab this enchantment table as well, because of course I do not have any levels. All right, well, now that I've pretty much got everything that I need, the last thing I need is a lot more ammo. So I do wanna go explore the city a little bit more and gather up some ammo. I found this watchtower, so I figured I'd go up to the top. It's like a big lighthouse or something, but there is a chest up here, and conveniently enough, it actually does have a lot of ammo that I actually needed. Lots of RPG ammo as well, which is pretty cool, and wait a second. Isn't that the cargo ship that I was on earlier? What the heck happened over there? You know, I'm not even gonna ask. This is a painful video, so it is pretty cursed. Well, it looks like I'm back on this beach I was on earlier, but now that I've found a bunch more ammo, I do need to find a runway of some sort that I could build this airplane at. I've been running around for a little while, but I'm not sure the exact place that an airplane could fit. Also, a lot of the ground is completely griefed here, so we need to keep looking. Well, after searching around for a little while, I do think I found a pretty good spot. Just got to parkour over this and yeah, look at this. There's a huge highway here with basically no cars on this side of the road, so I think this might be a good place to build the airplane. Okay, well, now that I've mined most of that airplane, I've put all my supplies in here for now because my inventory is already full, but there is a couple things I do need to get. I need to get a propeller and an engine, so I'm gonna search around and see if I can find anything. And before I go, I did want to enchant some of my armor real quick, so let's do that. Okay, and as you can see, I went ahead and put that sharpness four book on my sword, and I've got some decent protection on my armor. Now, let's go try and find these pieces for the airplane. All right, so I've arrived back at this military base that I was at before, because I did want to search in some of these planes and see if there are any engines left. It doesn't look like this plane has an engine anymore, and whoa, okay. I'm assuming that flying beast may be trying to stop me, because it seems like there's only only zombies around this plane, which means that there's probably going to be some sort of plane engine in there. Okay, let's go ahead and put this RPG to use here. Big damage there. Okay, we've really got to be careful because I do not want to die by that thing. Look how much damage that did. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe use my op. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, that like literally one shots them. That thing is pretty OP as well. Okay, a few more hits. We should be able to take them down and there we go. Okay, now I do believe there should be something in here because every time there's zombies, they're usually protecting something from my experience. So I'm not really sure. But there we go. Okay, wait, what are these? Oh, wait, is this the engine here? Okay, yeah, by the looks of it, these are the model engines. <laughs> they kind of look like enchanted anvils to me, but hey, it says a plane engine. So you know what? I'll take it. As for propellers, this was a pretty easy find because by the looks of it, this plane has some propellers. So we'll be able to take those off the plane right away. And there we go. Now we got all our plane propellers and we have the plane engine. Now I just need to go back to the highway and we should be able to start building our plane. All right. Well, I have been running through this giant tunnel for a while and there's a giant hole in the ground. How the heck did all this happen? And okay. Yep. Didn't even see these things. These are the giant gorilla things that do a lot of... Okay, yep, they actually do a ton of damage. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's go up here, try to take this thing. <gasps> what, what, what's happening? Oh my god, what happened, man? Okay, we gotta get out of here. I really don't have much healing left, but hopefully we can get out. How much gravel is there, dude? This is bad. Bandage, 
bandage. Oh my gosh, wait, we actually lived. That was very, very close. And I think it actually fell on all the zombies around me too, which I guess is a good thing. But yeah, let's travel back and start building this airplane. To be honest, I've never built an airplane before, but I was just kind of going with the flow. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you subscribe. We're so close to 1 million subscribers. Okay, well, the airplane is now built. Now I just need to fly around and try to find that stadium that that one guy on the radio was talking about. And the good thing is my plane works. And just like that, I started flying to the stadium. Okay, I think this looks like the stadium. Hopefully they're in here, but okay, I don't really know how to land this thing. Wait, how do you go down? I, I, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I think we're actually gonna crash. I, I don't know, I don't know how to stop this thing. Oh, what the heck just happened? Okay, that didn't go as planned, but... Uh, uh, what the heck was that? Uh, yeah, that didn't really go as planned, but the stadium's right here, so let's go save everybody and maybe take down that flying beast thing. Okay, I think this is the stadium. Yes, okay, where is he? Wait, one zombie? Hold up, is this the right stadium? This, this can't be what they were calling help about. I mean, dude, okay, this... This has got to be some sort of joke or something. Um, this is a stadium. In fact, a basketball stadium. But where the heck is everyone? Is this is this the wrong stadium? Okay, I just walked outside and it turns out there is another stadium next to it. Are you serious? Okay, let's go put a stop to this thing. And hopefully this is the right stadium. Oh, there he is. Okay, um, well, I'm glad I found you finally. Ah, you finally made it. Have trouble getting here? I honestly don't want to talk about it. The point is that I made it here and I'm going to stop you. There is no stopping me. Draining the energy from all the people I captured is giving me enough power to fuel my zombie army for eternity. I'm only a few minutes off my final step of power. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. This is for the kids from the police station. Okay, what the heck is he doing right now? There's some random stuff appearing in the air and apparently I am frozen now. Okay, gotta watch out for that. Make sure I don't freeze and let's go ahead and use a syringe so that we get the speed and strength effects from that. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage right now. Okay, he actually does quite a lot of damage too. Let me block my shield. Wait, where did he go? How the heck did he just get over there? Okay, med kit and let's pull out the RPG. How much damage? Wait, the RPG did like zero damage to this thing. How much health does he have? Okay, syringe again so I don't die. And okay, let's go ahead and use the op. Let's use some of our long range on him. Uh, it doesn't seem like our guns are really doing too much damage to this thing, though. This thing looks like he might have too much health for our guns to be that effective. I think we almost have him a quarter. Oh, half a heart. Oh my gosh, I just about died. Okay, he does a lot of damage, and I am very much struggling to even get close to him. His long range does insane damage, and it keeps pushing me back. Okay, I'm running over here to eat food and regenerate my health. Okay, I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing some spinny thing. Let's go ahead and RPG him again. Oh my god, wait, that actually did a lot more damage. Okay, I think I found his weak spot. I think I need to shoot him right in the rib cage. And I think that does a lot more damage. Okay, let's use the syringe. And what the heck is that? Okay, there was a bunch of green stuff coming outside of him. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I'm about to die. Med kit. And okay, now there's zombies everywhere, bro. Okay, I'm literally taking so much damage. Okay, I'm taking way too much damage. I'm running over this way. Okay, I can't believe how much damage this thing does to me. But as you can see, we've got him almost to half health now. Let's go ahead and... and Oh, wait, we have no we have no ammo in this. We've got to reload our RPG. Okay, it's fully reloaded. Let's get another big shot on him. There we go. He's nearly half HP now. And I think we killed the other zombies. Let's use the op and shoot it right at his rib cage. There we go. We got a good amount of damage. Okay, we got a block because I know there's some green stuff that's about to come out inside of him and it's really kind of weird. Okay, let's get closer. Use our syringe to give us stuff and somehow I'm getting poisoned. I think I'm getting poisoned from all these zombies attacking me and I'm running really low on heals. I gotta speed this fight up now. Okay, I don't know what he's doing, but I just saw a lot of particles jump over this fire maybe. There we go. Okay, I'm using my last syringe because I don't have any more now. We've got to take him down before we die. Getting a bunch of... What the heck? I just started flying somehow. I swear I'm not hacking. Okay, I only have bandages left. I've really got to end this guy fast. Okay, use my shotgun. I need to reload the RPG. It seems like the RPG at the rib cage is the best way to kill him. Uh, use a little bit more bandages. Reload this RPG again. Hopefully I don't miss and blow myself up. That would be really bad. And wait, where did he? Wait, he do he teleported and dodged my RPG. Are you joking me? Okay, I only have eight more bandages. RPG again. Okay, we got him really low with that one. Okay, we've got this thing pretty low. Let's go ahead and use another RPG. Oh my God, I like hit myself somehow, dude. I don't really know how I just hit myself, but 
That really is unfortunate. Okay, just a couple more hits. Let's go ahead and use my RPG on him again. And he's nearly dead. Okay, I need to go in for the kills now. I need to go in for the... What the heck is that? I swear he keeps getting more and more abilities. Okay, running. Currently running, currently running. Okay, I think the only way I'm gonna beat this guy, let's put my totem of undying on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Let's use this. Yes, there we go, we lived. And use some of the bandages. And we were able to take him out because of the Totem of Undying. This is the first time I've ever had to use the Totem of Undying to kill a boss, but my gosh, that was close. And real quick, if you want to fight these bosses alongside Forrest and I every weekend, check out our Patreon in the description below. Well, this is the aftermath. The stadium is pretty much ruined, but the good thing is I think I probably saved a lot of lives today. So I'm going to head back to my bridge base and I feel pretty happy that I just saved probably a lot of people. Well, my gosh, does it feel good to be back on this bridge? And wait, there's actually quite a lot of people here. Oh, wait, it's the old guy that got taken earlier. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you for saving us. We tried broadcasting on the radio and uh, I guess you heard it. Hey, no problem. I'm just glad everybody's okay. Well, now that I've defeated everything, I wonder what I should do next, to be honest. I'm not really too sure. Let's just, I guess, put away some of our stuff. We're not gonna need this any- What the heck is this thing? I- Wait a sec- What? Wait, what is- What is happening? What? Someone help! 